that I had before her mm -hmm. was after my relationship with Lily. And I remember going to her and saying, you know, I, and this is, we talked about this before, finding a therapist is exactly like dating. Yeah. And for the people who are reticent to do it, mm -hmm. and then they see the wrong person, and then they're like, well, I give up. Like, this yeah. isn't... But for me, it was finding the right person, and I, it was about three people in after my breakup with Lily. Mental Health Monday. Mental Health Monday. Mental Health Monday. Mental Health Monday. I wonder is that 20%. Mm -hmm. You know, it reminds me of a Drake quote when he goes, I think I had a chance at love and knowing me, I missed it. Like, that happiness, that, that happiness, that, you know, not relationship, but like that 20% happiness. Mm -hmm. Am I being overwhelmed by the 80% that makes me feel bad that I can't enjoy that 20%? Yeah, looking for happy in the middle of being happy. Right. And I just... I don't wonder about those things anymore. I usually just try to apply myself to the people that are around me as much as I can. And creating this platform is actually good for me because I get to hear other people's perspectives of how do they see tomorrow. Like mm -hmm. there's a lot of folks who I have have had conversations with that didn't make it, but like I remember what those conversations did for me and I I look forward to what our conversations do for the right person looking to recognize things right so when it came to depression what did you recognize in your depression that would let you know oh i'm becoming depressed again what did i recognize in my depression that i hmm i don't know how to answer that one so you never have any telltale signs of like I'm in the middle of being depressed. Because usually when it comes to anxiety and depression, it's not always something we see coming. Sometimes it's something we wake up and we're like, oh, I'm depressed. I, I am oh, yeah. currently there depressed. There are days I don't want to get out of bed. Yeah. There, there are days and it's, it's, it will be over nothing. It will be, I'll have things to do. Mm -hmm. I'll have important things to do. And I think that's the, kind of chemical imbalance side of it where it's not a situational depression where it's there is no rhyme or reason for it i mean there are things i'd be down about but mm -hmm. they won't throw me into depression yeah it's just there are certain days where i don't want to wake up and i mean a lot of those days are when i don't have much to do i'm a schedule guy mm -hmm. if i don't have things to do yeah and i can't get up and get moving those are dark days for me. Yeah. So the more the schedule's packed, the better it is for you. The better it is for me. I, I, I almost, I run on empty better than I run, mm -hmm. you know, with, with two, nothing on the schedule. Exactly. I can't stand it. Do you ever, do you ever hope to move out of that feeling? Yes. Oh yeah. I'd kill to move out of that feeling. Is this something you and your therapist have had to talk about? We haven't gotten to that mm -hmm. yet. We haven't gotten to that kind of conversation. It's um, how long you guys been uh, dating for? Because you know, therapist is like dating where you find a good fit and you're like, "All right, this works here." Oh, it's probably been a year, and my therapist, she's great. I don't think, I think she filled a void for me in terms of helping me with work situations. The one that I had before her. Mm -hmm was after my relationship with Lily. And I remember going to her and saying, you know, I, and this is, we talked about this before, finding a therapist is exactly like dating. Yeah. And for the people who are reticent to do it, mm -hmm. and then they see the wrong person, and then they're like, well, I give up. Like, this yeah. isn't. But for me, it was finding the right person, and I, it was about three people in after my breakup with Lily. And I explained to her that three weeks later, I went out with another woman and she goes, I'll never forget. And she goes, Brad, I bet she thinks you're a real fucker. And I, I literally, I, and I was like, all right, we're going to get along well. And she, goes, and she goes, but Brad, what you did is rebounded quickly and you were in a dark place. Like, mm -hmm. don't, don't be hard on yourself. Everyone does that yeah. differently. But it was just the, the fact that she 
it was very visceral. She, she spoke to me like a human. And then this woman has been very good at kind of the work stuff, but I don't feel like I'm getting enough out of it. And it's time for me to move on to find someone else. I've been thinking about this because a lot of the things that we bring up here are things that I get more out of talking to you about it mm -hmm. than I get out of talking to her about it. Yeah. Um, because I, I don't feel like she's got, I, I don't think she's in tune with, and, and maybe that's my fault because mm -hmm. I have not explained those things well enough. Yeah. But I don't think she's in tune with what I really need. And that's a good thing that you're aware of that. I've had two therapists tell me I'm self-aware to a fault. <laughs> <laughs> as, a, as a therapist, that's very intimidating. Because yeah. you're like, wait, so I'm supposed to give advice to the person who's self-aware of the things that's going on in their life, which means when I bring it up, they've already thought about that. And what you, what you find is people that have already thought about something when you bring it up, they're more reluctant to actually go deeper into that topic. Oh, I, I ruminate on things. I'll give you an example. Mm -hmm. I was supposed to hear back. Um, the recruiter told me I had an assessment for a job last Thursday. Yeah. The recruiter tells me we're going to know by this weekend, by the holidays, mm -hmm. what answer they picked. I didn't hear anything back. You know what my mind goes to? That was Thursday. Friday, no one's working. Mm -hmm. That's logically what happened my mind goes to oh she didn't want to give me bad news before mm. the holidays so she didn't reach out and so it's like but that's where my mind goes that's how my mind Snowball works effect yeah going down the mountain yeah i got you yeah that's where my mind goes versus the logic of no one was probably in the office on friday no one yeah. discussed anything and yeah. so it's like yeah, no you one know. wants to touch that work. Right, yeah. exactly. Yeah. You yeah. know, for me, it's everything. For them, mm -hmm. it's just another number. Yeah. So, so, but that's, that's how my mind works. It goes to those negatives. I don't know if my mind's ever worked like that. I I'm think, jealous. <laughs> I think, um, so, but there's a, there's a double-edged sword effect with that, right? So what my mind does is when things like that happen... I'm very quick to just move on to something and not really care for whatever the opportunity was anymore, which lessens my drive towards it when they spin the block. Okay. Because I'm just like, look, I've checked out already. <laughs> like, emotionally, I've moved on from wanting this opportunity. Right. And there's, I just tell myself, there's better out there than whatever this is. So I'm just right. going to focus on that better. And that's, and that's, what, that's what I've done, is yeah. literally... I reached out to her today and you know haven't heard back and mm -hmm. um but i've got two other big things coming See, up i had an interview today game. and so that's it's a like cat and mouse game right there yeah now you're now you're tugging my chain yeah because it's your responsibility to reach out to me right and once i've done the due diligence to reach back to you and you're not even responding no right the hard no right hard no i got other things i could worry about for fun that's right not this yeah right right no there's there's so many other things and like job opportunities, life situations, mm -hmm. you know, it's like, I, I just look at it as like, you know, it's, they, they tell a wide receiver in the NFL, you drop a pass, mm -hmm. you got to get back out there, short memory. Yeah. So it's, yeah. I, I try and have that short memory mm -hmm. and I move on. Now I'll ruminate about it later. until I hear later. something, later. but yeah. my immediate focus, my way of getting rid of anxiety mm -hmm. is not to sit and have a drink, is not to sit and watch TV. It's to get things done.